There have been moments in these past few days when you felt liberal America was suffering a collective heart attack. But the president, any and every president, is not just a political leader here, but the head of state. So the mood, even in the heavily democratic Virginia suburbs, seemed to be today, maybe he has to be given a chance. He's speaking with the president today. We will see, as Americans, what lies ahead. Um, you inclined to give him the benefit of the doubt, at least for a bit? A little bit. It might be after the inauguration, a month. Um, that's not much time, but we shall see. Inevitably, there's plenty of gallows humor around, but there's quite a lot of fear, too. Some people say you should protest. Some people say, OK, let's give the guy a chance. Which camp do you fall into? Both. I feel like we have a tradition in this country, a peaceful transfer of power. He won fair and square, even though Hillary won the popular vote. And if it were the other way around, I would want Trump supporters to support Hillary. However, it's really hard to be in that spirit of reconciliation when you think about the horrible, painful, negative things he said about people in this country. I have a disabled son. He mocked disabled reporter. I'm a woman. He bragged about sexual assault. It's really hard to get past that. And of course, it wasn't just women and the disabled whom he insulted. My husband is an immigrant and my children are biracial and I am worried and I'm worried for all of the immigrant families. I'm worried for all of the Muslim families. You know, that I think that it's already been a challenging time for them and that this is only going to embolden more people who have these kind of extreme views that they're right. For the moment, though, the mood here seems calmer than it might have been. And it's all down to Mr. Trump himself now and that old nostrum, actions speak louder than words.